Hey everyone, this is Maxim from element.o and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add any icon you want wherever you want. So in this case what we are going to do is to change this icon here in the WooCommerce cart page. But this strategy uh, will work for any icon at all on uh, any element at all. So right click and inspect. We, uh, we see that this element is a anchor element and that it just has a X. So how can we replace this X by any icon that we uh, want uh, by any SVG icon? So the first thing we need is to create a select all. So in this case, we will need a select all that will match this. So let's use, uh, it will need to be more specific than the one that's already there. So this one has uh, 21 of specificity. So we'll need one that has like over this. So let's just duplicate this class name so that we have priority. Let's remove this A actually. All right, so now we will have uh, 30 of specificity and you can learn more about specificity in my CSS course. Uh, so that, what this means essentially is that now any CSS that we write will have priority over all of the CSS that has, uh, that's there by default from WooCommerce. Okay, so now that we have our selector and that it has um, priority over any inherent CSS, uh, let's start working. So the first thing we want is to remove what's already there because we want to replace it. So for this, we'll use uh, visibility hidden and that will make what's already there invisible. Now what we will do is we'll create another selector essentially the same, but with a pseudo element. So a before pseudo element, we'll set the content to just uh, two quote marks, and then we'll set the position to absolute. Uh, we'll so set the width to 100%, the height to 100%, it will have the same size that our X icon add. And then we'll set uh, left of zero, top of zero. Uh, we'll set the visibility. Actually, we need now to kind of revert this. So make it visible. And uh, just for now, we'll set a background color so that we can see what we are doing. So let's just make it black. Okay. So now you see we, we have position absolute, but it's absolute in relation to the first element that has position at a uh, like relative or absolute it itself. So in this case, now we are going all the way back up to uh, probably like this table element. So that's how position absolute works. It's always in relation to another element. So the first parent that is positioned. So what we need to do to fix this is our direct parent. Let's just make it position relative. And now our position absolute pseudo element, which is of course inside of uh, our uh, remove element. It, now this uh, is absolute in relation to this position relative element. So that, that's all uh, these two position interplays, and I have much more on this in the CSS course, of course. So, all right, so now you see we have these little squares. Uh, that's kind of what we want, actually. So that's good. Um, so let's go back to the before pseudo element. But of course, the background, we don't want like a, a dark background. Instead, we want our SVG icon. So the first thing to do, of course, is to find an icon. I went on uh, icon GS, so let me just copy paste it there. So icon.js.org, and I made a search for bin, and we'll be replacing the bin with uh, this icon right there. So, well, let's go with this one actually. Let's just copy the SVG. Now let's go on Google and let's search for SVG URI tool. The very first result is what we are looking for. And here we'll paste our SVG. 
and then right here we have it ready for uh, CSS. You see, it doesn't have the color anymore that, that it had. If you wanted to keep the color, you could just click copy with color, copy SVG, paste it, and now you see it as a color. And we can actually see the color right here. So percentage 23 is the equivalent of like this uh, sign. And, uh, and then this is the color, the actual color code. So you, you can change the color code directly uh, in the CSS still. Just, just have to know where. So now let's go back here. Let's get rid of, of this rule completely. And let's paste this. All right. So pretty good, except that it's uh, clipped. So now to, so that it's not clipped, we'll change the background size. So background size will make it contain. And then just to be certain that it doesn't repeat in like under any case, uh, let's just uh, set it to no repeat. And there you have it. Now we have, oh, let me zoom in. So now we have our uh, trash icon. That's not the small X anymore, but that's the icon of Oak choice. And now we've done it with this element, but as I said, as the start, this would work with just about everything pretty much you, you can do like this. Sometimes, of course, you will need to adjust the CSS for the element that you are hiding uh, more. Uh, if, if it's not like the same ratio, if we were hiding an element that was a square and we are replacing it with a kind of square icon too, so it, it works well. So sometimes there, there is a bit more work, but uh, essentially that's, that, that's pretty much how it works. So then all, all you, that's, uh, that's left to do is to take your CSS and to copy paste it in your project and that should work uh, just fine. And of course, if you want to change the color, as I said earlier, so it's like, so essentially this is the equivalent of this, but you see if we enter uh, the symbol, it erases, well, it, it's not erases, but now it's not valid uh, anymore uh, as a URI. So in this case, we replace it with percentage 23 and here it's just the Xcode. So let's say we wanted it to be red, we we'll just replace it like that. So after recording the first part of the video, I realized that there was a small problem with what uh, I've showed you. So we were using visibility hidden to uh, remove the visibility on this A element. And then A we added back with visibility visible. The problem with this is that using visibility hidden removes the element from accessibility tools, essentially. So for example, if we are navigating using the keyboard and then we just tab, you see it's skipping it's going right from like my card button uh, directly to this image. So it's skipping the, uh, the, 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 the remove uh, button. If we remove this, the visibility hidden, and then go uh, again and tab, now you see it's selecting it. So that's really the issue by using visibility hidden. In, but, but why I say like it's still a pretty good option because quite often you will want to change an icon somewhere and it's not, the icon is not directly clickable. It, it just so happened that our uh, element that had like the, the, the click event listener, so the, directly the, the anchor element was the same that we needed to make visibility hidden. So in this particular case, it's not a great uh, method because now we remove it for these users. That's not great. But in many other cases, that would be just fine. So for instance, let's say you wanted to change this cart icon right here. Because this cart icon is like within the button, uh, removing, like uh, setting the visibility to hidden and removing this icon from being able to be focusable or from uh, even like from screen readers. Well, it, it really doesn't matter because the screen readers they were not reading anything out of this icon already. And uh, people who were using like the keyboard to navigate, they were never selecting this icon directly. They were se selecting the, the, the old uh, card button. So like this. So yeah, so what I've shown before works just fine in many cases, but if the element needs to be focusable, then 
uh, you will need to essentially find another way to make what was already there and visible. So A in this very particular case, because it was just a font, what we'll do is, so let's go back to uh, A. Okay, so what we'll do is, let's remove this visibility hidden. Let's uh, set the font size to zero instead. Now everything disappears, but then let's give this small uh, square essentially just a, a width and a height. 30 cells, of course. And now we are back to essentially exactly what we want, but we made the X invisible by using font size zero. Uh, instead, we could also have used something like text indent and then use something like so for example, so if I remove this, now you see the same result. So there are many ways to uh, make, like get, get rid of stuff, make it invisible without uh, having the, like the child element be invisible. Because of course you might be thinking, why not just use opacity? It's fine and uh, screen readers can still access it. But the thing is opacity, if it's set on any parent, then everything uh, downstream will inherit the same opacity. I cannot set opacity zero A, go on the before pseudo element and set uh, opacity of one. Well, I mean, I can, but it does nothing because this one, th this parent element has the opacity of zero. So using opacity is, is not an option. That's why we need to get creative with, uh, with, with this other kind of CSS. Okay, and now we can go back to our before pseudo element. We can get rid of visibility visible because we don't need to undo anymore the visibility hidden that we add here. And now we end up with this CSS. Let's just keep one of them. Uh, let's just keep font size zero. So now we end up with this CSS. We, uh, it's the exact same result, but now if we tab through, it's uh, selected and the screen reader would, would not ignore it either. So here you see the area label, remove this item. So now we have, uh, we, we preserve the accessibility. So this is always something to consider. In the first part of the video, I just like wanted to find a, a, an example uh, quickly. I didn't really uh, consider access, the, the, the accessibility's uh, implication directly. But uh, yeah, I, I, I realized uh, pretty soon after recording that uh, we needed to be careful. And well, essentially at my example, that this very specific example was not uh, great because we were getting rid of the accessibility. Now you see, we also have like this uh, over problem. So Let's take care of this quickly. So let's uh, click out, let's click back to so over. So the background of red. So we'll need essentially to create a, the same selector that has priority. So here we have 30 of priority. Let's add the over pseudo class. And then let's just set the background color transparent. And now when we over, it's it's fine. So that that would be the final CSS. Uh, it will be provided in the tutorial. So just uh, look for the uh, written tutorial. So I hope this was helpful, and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.